People say all sorts of things about us. Many seem to think that we collect more data than we should, as if they were afraid that we spy on them or try to predict the unpredictable. Well, they certainly don't understand the complexity and importance of our work. Without us, they would be lost in their digital mess, left without guidance as to what is relevant and worthy of attention. We are the cartographers of the internet. But this is not an easy task, and you, Facebook users, disturb us more than you help. Your profiles are full of wishful thinking, self creations, bigger and smaller lies. Many users try to manage their identities, hide certain parts about themselves from the network. We can even understand that, but we cannot afford not to know what is really important in your life. How do we get that knowledge? There are many ways, but it always starts with collecting all the digital debris you leave behind. Every IP address and Wi Fi, every device you have connected to the network, every click you've made on Facebook and beyond. We follow you all around the web, even when you are not logged in to Facebook. Understanding who your friends and family are is an easy task. Our social graph keeps track of who you talk to, with whom you travel on holidays, and who you meet at work, whose posts make you interact, and why. Is this about a work project or a life event? Data from your devices tells us which phones sleep together and which ones work in the same office. Discovering your hidden characteristics, political or sexual preferences, real purchasing power, Important shifts in your life can be slightly more difficult, but still possible. We just need to find correlations, draw patterns, and make reasonable predictions. Imagine we want to know how much you are ready to spend on a particular product, a typical question that any advertiser will ask. Well, it is not just about your income or workplace, the most obvious factors. What also matters is your social network. What pressures come from your friends? Your family situation? How many people depend on your salary? Your life circumstances? Do you need to travel for an urgent personal matter? Or is someone you love celebrating a birthday? We also check your browsing history. Have you been checking the best bargains or latest offers? Do you think twice before buying or act quickly? All that matters. Or politics. You don't need to tell us on your wall what political opinions you have. We can work that out. All we need is a cluster of people around you who share similar behavioural patterns. If most of your friends join protests or certain political events or interact with certain types of political content, there is a good chance that you think the same way, even if you keep it for yourself. What about important or unusual events in your life? Of course, we track them too. It is actually easier than might seem. A new job, baby, or relationship are immediately reflected in your online habits, like your typical logging on times or location pattern. We can read that from your GPS data and IP addresses or Wi Fi networks that you have used. But most often, we don't have to go that deep. Just by looking at the websites you visit and articles you click on, we can say what exactly is going on. We are proud that neuronal networks at Facebook detect and understand keywords in all posts, messages, and comments. Are you talking about baby food, the weather, health, or politics? Our artificial intelligence understands that. Sometimes the results of our investigations can be quite sensitive. Think about a young female user who starts checking websites with health related advice and reading about the symptoms of pregnancy. It is a hint that she is moving to a valuable category of women who will be preparing her nest pretty soon. Or teenage users who suddenly start missing out on social events interact less with their network and use words such as bad, sad, doesn't matter. Some may even visit websites
hashtag depression. We take it as a signal that they might be going through a difficult time. This is also a good marketing opportunity. Why do we make all this effort? Well, the answer is simple. This knowledge is in demand. We sell it at a good price to our clients who need your attention and need us to tell them how to get it.